What's up guys, welcome back to Twin Cherry Studio and today I'm playing a bit of Splinter Cell and that's kind of not what this video is about. It's not what's interested about the fact that I'm playing Splinter Cell. It's the fact that I'm playing it on my uh, new Xiaomi 11T Pro phone with the Razer Kishi controller which is quite cool. But that I'm also streaming this wirelessly to my laptop which is great for streaming if I wanted to make some Android tutorials and things like that. I used to have to record the screen or use the plugged in method that I did last time so I had to like plug it in via USB and use screen copy but I've figured out that on Windows 10 and Windows 11 you can actually do this quite easy and quite natively so today I'm going to show you how to do that um the first thing you're going to need to check though is because there are a couple of prerequisites to this to make sure that it works just exit that emulation there um the first thing you're going to want to do is check that you are actually capable of doing it because uh your wireless card needs to have Miracast technology and so does your phone. So the way to find out on your phone is if you just scroll down at the little top right corner, there'll be a cast function. And there we go, the phone's got it. And then on the laptop, if I just pull up my laptop screen there, on the laptop, you just have to press the Windows button and type in DXDiag. Get it to run the DirectX Diagnostics. That will run and click Save All Information. Once all that information is saved, it's going to give you a text file that we're going to look at. And also another prerequisite is that both devices have to be on the same network, but they also have to be a 2.4 gigahertz network. So if like me, you split your SSIDs to 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, which a lot of people do on wireless so that they can control the congestion and things like that. Um, that's going to need to be 2.4 gigahertz one because it won't work on the 5 gigahertz one. That's what I found out anyway. Uh, so once you've done DX Diag on both Windows 10 or Windows 11, oh, it's brought up the connect swing again because my screen's gone off. Scroll down here. To the bit where it says Miracast and it says available with HDCP. Now I'm told that the HDCP bit is very important because if you want to stream, like say Netflix, I don't know why you stream Netflix here and laptop, but if you wanted to stream, say, like something that has copyright material on it, HDCP will allow that. And a lot of things do require HDCP also. Now I've never seen a laptop that doesn't have available without HDCP, but if it does, then that, that might be a bit of an issue. So once you've done that, we're going to want to find the the optional updates or the optional features of Windows. So on Windows 10 or Windows 11, I'm using Windows 11 right now because it's quite cool actually. Type in optional features after pressing the Windows key and it brings you to this optional features section. And you're going to click the view features and you're going to find a certain feature, but I have it installed so it's not here. But you want the wireless display feature. You're going to want to click install on that. Once that's installed, it's just a case of pressing Windows, typing in connect, bring up the connect app, and that's the name of the laptop that you're going to be connecting to. And then on your phone, pressing the cast button, which I can't show you because I'm not currently casted, but, and then finding your laptop name which is there, and there you go. It is projecting, and it is fantastic for streaming games. Uh, if you want to make live Android tutorials so you can talk, you don't have to sync it all up in post and things like that. Um, I've been using it mainly just to just to mess around with. I'll probably use it to stream some Android games, or I'm going to try streaming on the actual phone, like from the phone to see if that works properly. Um, but I obviously I like to do a lot of emulation and stuff. Uh, I've got a new phone, I'm going to be on the go, I've got the Razer Kishi controller which has been great so far, there is a problem with Call of Duty Mobile but I've figured out a fix for that, um, but yeah, it's a great little emulation machine this, and I'm going to be doing a couple of more videos on probably Android emulation because it's come along a lot in the past couple of years since I last tried it, especially with things like RetroArch Plus which is just a big all-in-one emulation machine absolutely love retro art plus and the fact that it's on android this is the same stuff that we used with the raspberry pi which i 
I haven't used in a long time, if I'm going to be honest. It's one of those things I bought, I set up as an arcade machine, and I didn't do it. So, that's probably it for today's video. Uh, I've, I know I've not been doing a lot of videos on this channel, but I've been doing a lot of stuff in my personal life. But obviously, I've been working. I'm working a lot, and I'm working towards a couple of new projects and a couple of new goals and things like that. So, uh, hoping I'm going to do a couple more videos. You may see a couple more videos. You know where I'm like, I pump out a bunch of content and then I, <laughs> and then I go away for a long time because I uh, have to work and do other things like that. So I wish this could be my full-time job, but obviously not viable right now. And one day, maybe it will be. But anyway, take care of yourself. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.